Hi friends, this is your friend Sina Sunman and I just made an aha realization that is about myself and it's also about us all in humanity. And it's really about how we both want something and we work against it. And of course, if you've listened to Abraham Hicks and um, uh, Law of Attraction, she talks about what you put into your vortex. But this is a little funny. You can listen to this story. So I'm gardening. I'm uh, building up my vegetable garden. And I just started putting the seedlings that I had in the greenhouse into the actual garden. And of course, they need lots of water. We've had beautiful, sunny, cloudless skies for about three days. And um, the rainwater that I had collected was really down low, almost nothing. So I was praying for rain. And I really asked the angels to bring rain. And I felt confident they were going to bring rain. So, um, and I felt today they're going to bring the rain. But this morning I washed the sheets and I hung them out to dry. It was sunny and beautiful still all morning. And then I, um, I'm painting a big room. So I was busy painting a big room. Uh, I, that's what I was going to do. But while I was still working in the garden, um, I saw that the sheets, they seemed to be dry and there was something that said, yeah, you should probably take those sheets in now. And I thought, no, nah, it's not going to rain <laughs> while I'm praying for rain, right? And knowing that my angels are going to answer my prayer for rain. So there I did leave the sheets out there because it's not going to rain while I'm praying for rain and went to uh, finish painting this room and suddenly it's pouring down rain, right? Oh, I'm so glad that it's pouring down rain. I really needed the rain. I've been praying for rain and the rain came. The angels answered, right? But what was it in me that decided not to take the sheets down because it's not going to rain on my sheets, but it is going to rain on my plants. Um, and I just realized how many times do I ask divine beings, do I ask for things? And at the same time, just not prepare for it or not want it as well. So let's look at this whole um, time now that we've been stopped uh, with this virus thing. Um, how many times have people been saying, oh, just stop the world, I need to get off. Or we've been saying, ah, oh, I just got to get out of this routine of just going to work all the time and coming home exhausted. And um, I, just, I just need a change. I need a change. How many times have we been saying that? And then here it is. It comes. It's here. And we left the sheets outside because we were convinced that it's not going to rain while we're asking for the rain. And we're getting what we're asking for. So I think it's wise now for us to kind of look at what has been in our heart. What have we been asking for? What is our heart's desire? And what have we been in our quiet moments, in our moments of like just, just getting in deeply in touch with ourselves, just been longing for, wishing for? And then observe, is it happening? Are we, are we keeping our eyes open to see that what we've asked for is actually coming forth and coming true? Uh, it's very easy to get distracted by lots of other little things. Like I was distracted by, uh, I don't want to take the sheets down now. I just don't feel like it. It didn't line up with my asking for the rain. I mean, I should know better. If it rains, my sheets that were dry are going to get soaking wet. And they did. I had to bring them in and hang them up inside. 
And in addition to that, the pajamas that I usually hang outside on a, a, a ledge or balcony um, outside my bedroom window to air, they were soaking wet too. So I think the moral of this story is for me, and perhaps some of you will also connect, is to really imagine fully what it would be like if our deepest heart's desires were answered and what we need to prepare for that happening for the for our heart's desires to be answered and and what what would happen so I got my rain I got plenty of rain I'm so glad I'm filling up the water reserves for my plants and I'm actually not that upset that the sheets are wet and and my pajamas are soaking wet because I can always get other pajamas and the sheets will just take longer to dry but it's the realization of am I fully wholly focused on what I'm asking for and what I want uh, and being alert to what it's like when I get it right so enjoy this silly little story of mine and perhaps you'll reflect upon ways on, in which you both have a very strong heart's desire for something and you also at the same time don't really prepare for it or maybe don't even believe it's going to really happen but it did it's raining the world stopped and we've got an opportunity to just go into the new all right enjoy today with blessings